now the practically how to do superposition theorem will explained in this video let us consider two sources 10 volts and 5 volts is connected to the circuit 470 ohms 180 ohms and 270 ohms three resistances we connected for this what is the current flows through 270 ohms we are calculating practically and theoretically verified practically verified superposition theorem practically verification will conduct in this laboratory the current through 270 ohms resistance is the algebraic sum of currents flows through acting alone when the source 5 volts is activated when the source is 5 volts is activated what is the current through when the source 5 volts is activated what is the current through 270 ohms resistance is first step after that when the source is 10 volts is activated what is the current through 270 ohms resistance is the second step after that finally when the two sources acting what is the current through 270 ohms resistance we are calculating in this practically and verifying the superposition theorem now first we are connecting 270 ohms resistance by taking 270 ohms resistance we are connected and it is 470 ohm and it is uh, this resistance is this resistance is 180 ohm and this resistance is 270 ohm three resistances we are connected according to this circuit in this circuit 470 180 270 ohms three resistances two sources first we are going conducting experiment on 5 volt source acting alone and 10 volt source is short circuited and similarly we are conducting another another step is 5 volt source is short circuited after that we connected 10 volts these are all columns columns are connected and rows are does not connected first we are connecting 470 ohms resistance in bedboard and this is 470 ohms resistance on bedboard in the column in the rows we connected rows means uh, there is no conduction directly on columns there is a conduction now we are connecting another 270 ohms resistance now it is 180 ohm resistance 180 ohms we are connecting here ohms resistance we are connecting here here 180 ohms resistance now it is connected 180 ohms it is 180 ohm now we are connecting 270 ohms resistance in the common point of this two on the bed board it is a 270 ohms resistance it is it is 270 ohms resistance common point bed board we are connecting now we connected 270 ohms resistance here after that we are giving the supply 5 volts for the one side after that we are short circuiting another side first we are connecting 10 volt source after that uh, 5 volt source we are short circuiting 10 volts 10 volts is there this one we are short circuiting by like this this is the circuit one we are considering only 5 volt source and this is short circuited by taking the wire we are short circuiting this 10 volt source now this uh, 180 ohms resistance is short circuited by the use of one wire this is the short circuit we given now we are connecting 5 volt source across this two terminals plus and minus we are connecting 5 volt source a multimeter or a ammeter is connected to what is the current flows through 270 ohms resistance this is the rps rps output 2 output 1 both we can consider we can consider output 2 it is a plus we are connecting here in the bedboard plus is connected to 470 ohms resistance the plus is connected in the column that means it is a direct connection will be there after that minus will be connected to minus will be connected to the minus is connected to 270 ohms the minus will be connected to 270 ohms the minus will be connected the negative terminal of DC supply will be connected to here 
the negative terminal of DC supply will be connected to it is a negative terminal negative terminal it is this negative terminal we are connecting 270 ohms resistance now it is connected 270 ohms resistance now now we are taking the ammeter to measure the current what is the current flows through this 270 ohms resistance by connecting 5 volts dc supply on this side another side we short circuited on the side this is the short circuited terminal short circuited wire which is 10 volt source is deactivated by short circuit to measure the current through 10 270 ohms resistance what we have to what we should do a ammeter is connected the ammeter connection very important how to connect let us see to connect ammeter in series with the 270 ohms resistance to connect the ammeter in series with 270 ohms resistance we are connecting an ammeter like this it is replaced to another terminal it is replaced to another terminal now the ammeter it is the positive supply of ammeter it is the positive supply of um, it is a positive it is a negative of ammeter two terminals these are the two terminals positive negative it is a red color shows positive and red color shows positive terminal red color is connected to red color is connected to node of uh, three resistances this is the node positive is connected and the through current can be measured now it is the negative terminal of negative terminal of ammeter negative terminal is connected to this resistance negative terminal is connected to 270 ohms through this resistance lo poye current measure cheyala kabatti mana in series with this one similar to circuit we connected ammeter in series with 270 ohms resistance now we are giving the supply switch on now we are giving 5 volt supply 5 volt supply now we are giving the 5 volt supply because 10 volts is shorter now we are giving 5 volt supply now we given 5 volt supply for this now we given 5 volt supply for this circuit now the current flows through this 3.6 milliamps this is the current flows through 3.6 milliamps is the current flows through this resistance when we given 5 volts when we given 5 volts the current through 270 ohms resistance is 3.6 3.6 amps milliamps milliamps 3.6 it is a milliamps 200 milliamps join this mm. now the current through 270 ohms resistance is through 3.6 milliamps the same circuit the same experiment repeated for 10 volts by short circuiting another another side 5 volts this 5 volts will be short circuited by connecting a wire or deactivating 5 volts by connecting a wire now we are measuring the current again while short circuiting this 5 volt source and activating 10 volts acting alone now we switch off this this current this supply is connected this short circuited terminal this wire is replaced with the 10, 10 volts similarly we are disconnecting the supply supply terminals plus is connected to 180 ohms the plus terminal is connected to 180 ohms the plus terminal is connected to 180 ohms now negative will be connected to 270 ohms 270 ohms negative is connected to 270 ohms again we are short circuiting 5 volts way on the LHS side we are short circuiting LHS side we are short circuiting by this this cable or a wire is connected between LHS side 
this is LHS side we are short circuiting now this is the shorted wire and the supply is given and minus is connected to 270 ohms now we are measuring the current again the same step we are procedure we are applying the same procedure now switch on but the supply what we are giving the supply what we are giving here is 10 volts we have to give 10 volts because already 5 volts is shorted the 5 volts is shorted we are giving the supply 10 volts we are giving the supply by adjusting rps it is 10 volts now we given 10 volts what is the ammeter current shows it is 18.3 milliamps take down the reading 18.3 milliamps we are obtaining when 5 volt side is shorter what is the current throw what is the current throw 270 ohms resistance is 18.3 milliamps note down the reading now this is the 18.3 milliamps current flows through when 10 volts is activated and deactivated 5 voltage source this 5 volts is short circuited this is 5 volts is shorted it is short circuit of 5 volts now the current is 18.3 milliamps now another step when both sources acting what is the current flows through this we are calculating we are practically we are verifying two sources we have to connect for this circuit instead of short circuiting this we are replacing the short circuited terminal we are removing the short circuited terminal remove the short circuited terminal now we are giving 5 volt supply another side now we are giving 5 volt supply it is 5 volt supply we are giving for this side we already we given 10 volt side and we are giving 5 volt supply for this side switch off the power supply and we are connecting plus we are connecting plus to 270 ohm 470 ohms resistance we are connecting plus for 470 ohms resistance now minus is connected to this another DC source minus we are connecting by using cable by using cable minus is connected to another 470 is connected to another 470 is connected to another minus 5 volts minus 5 terminal will be connected to 270 ohms now we are connecting 270 ohms for this it is 270 ohms resistance common terminal ground terminal it may be it is a common point now we connected both sources now switch on the supply now switch on the supply both sources are 10 volts and 5 volts both we connected for this circuit now switch on the supply now 10 volts is connected in this side 5 volt side is connected to this side two sources we are acting what is the current flows through 270 ohms resistance that is a meter shows 21.9 milliamps 21.9 9 milliamps it is shows now take the reading and the tabular column 21.9 milliamps when both sources are acting alone that means in the step 1 we are short circuited 10 volt source we are getting 3.6 milliamps in step 2 we are getting 18.3 milliamps now the current throw 270 ohms resistance is algebraic sum of two currents acting alone that is 21.9 that is 18 plus 3 gives 21.9 milliamps the two currents when two sources are acting alone what is the current flow through this 21.9 milliamps if you add this 18.3 plus 3.6 if you add both milliamps two currents if you add then you will get 21.9 milliamps and the first step low manam 5 volts active jesi remaining 10 volt source short circuit jesam voltage sources vachi short circuit jesam kada alage 10 volt short circuit jesam second step low 10 volts active jesi 5 volts short circuit jesam appudu poye first step lo poye current vachi 3.6 milliamps and second step lo 10 volt source active ga unnapudu 5 volt source deactivate chesinappudu what is the current 18.3 milliamps now two sources acting alone unnapudu 10 5 rendu ichcham kada manam ikkada ee circuit lo 
రెండు ఇచ్చినప్పుడు వాట్ ఈస్ ద కరెంట్ ఫ్లోస్ త్రో దస్ ట్వంటీ వన్ పాయింట్ నైన్ మిలియన్స్ దట్ ఈస్ ఆల్జిబ్రాక్స్ సమ్ ఆఫ్ టూ సోర్సెస్ యాక్టింగ్ అలోన్ నో హౌ టు కనెక్ట్ అమ్మేటర్ ఇన్ ద బ్రెడ్ బోర్డ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ వేర్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు మెజర్ ద కరెంట్ దిస్ ద ప్లస్ ఈజ్ కనెక్టెడ్ టు జంక్షన్ పాయింట్ దిస్ జంక్షన్ పాయింట్ ఈజ్ కనెక్టెడ్ టు ప్లస్ అండ్ మైనస్ ఈజ్ కనెక్టెడ్ టు టూ సెవెంటీ ఓమ్స్ రెజిస్టెన్స్ దిస్ ఈస్ దిస్ ఈస్ అ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ అ మీటర్ ప్లస్ అండ్ మైనస్ ప్లస్ ఈజ్ కనెక్టెడ్ టు ప్లస్ ఈజ్ కనెక్టెడ్ టు జంక్షన్ పాయింట్ మైనస్ ఈజ్ కనెక్టెడ్ టు టూ సెవెంటీ ఓమ్స్ పాజిటివ్ టర్మినల్ అజమ్ దట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ పాజిటివ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నెగిటివ్ టర్మినల్ టూ సెవెంటీ ఓమ్స్ దిస్ మైనస్ ఈస్ లెట్ అస్ సీ హియర్ ఆల్సో దిస్ ఈస్ ద ప్లస్ దిస్ ఈస్ ద రెడ్ ఫైర్ ఆఫ్ అ మీటర్ మిల్లీ ఆమ్స్ అ మీటర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ద రెడ్ వైర్ ఈజ్ కనెక్టెడ్ దిస్ ఈస్ ద రెడ్ వైర్ దిస్ ఈస్ ద రెడ్ వైర్ రెడ్ వైర్ ఈజ్ కనెక్టెడ్ టు జంక్షన్ పాయింట్ నోడ్ పాయింట్ ఆఫ్టర్ దట్ నెగిటివ్ టర్మినల్ ఈస్ అ బ్లాక్ వైర్ దిస్ బ్లాక్ వైర్ ఈజ్ కనెక్టెడ్ టు టూ సెవెంటీ ఓమ్స్ ప్లస్ టర్మినల్ అండ్ టూ సెవెంటీ ఓమ్స్ నెగిటివ్ విల్ బీ కనెక్టెడ్ టు కామన్ టర్మినల్ ఆల్ ప్లస్ అండ్ మైనస్ దిస్ మైనస్ విల్ కమ్ టు హియర్ అండ్ దిస్ సోర్స్ మైనస్ ఆల్సో కమ్స్ టు హియర్ అండ్ టూ సెవెంటీ ఓమ్స్ లైక్ దాట్ వీ కెన్ కనెక్ట్ వీ కెన్ కనెక్ట్ టూ సెవెంటీ ఓమ్స్ సపరేట్లీ హియర్ ఆల్సో వీ కెన్ కనెక్ట్ ఫర్ అండర్స్టాండింగ్ పర్పస్ ఓకే నా సూపర్ పొజిషన్ తీరం ఎలా వెరిఫై చేయాలి బై యూజింగ్ త్రీ రెజిస్టెన్సెస్ త్రీ ప్రాక్టికలీ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఫోర్ సెవెంటీ వన్ ఎయిటీ టూ సెవెంటీ ఓమ్స్ కరెంట్ త్రో టూ సెవెంటీ ఓమ్స్ వీ క్యాలకులేటెడ్ యాస్ ట్వంటీ వన్ పాయింట్ సెవెన్ మిలియన్స్ ఆ స్టెప్ వన్ స్టెప్ టూలో రెండు కరెంట్స్ యాడ్ చేస్తే ఎంత వస్తుందో అంత కరెంటు మనకి ఇప్పుడు వచ్చింది హెన్స్ సూపర్ పొజిషన్ థిరమ్ ఈజ్ వెరిఫైడ్ థియేటికలీ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో క్యాలకులేటెడ్ బై కన్సిడరింగ్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద సోర్స్ అండ్ సెకండ్ సోర్స్ ఈజ్ డీయాక్టివేటెడ్ లెట్ ఎస్ సీ దట్ ద సేమ్ థియేటికల్ క్యాలకులేషన్ సూపర్ పొజిషన్ తీరం ఎలా చేస్తారు ఫస్ట్ గివెన్ సర్క్యూట్ ఇది ఫోర్ సెవెంటీ వన్ ఎయిటీ టూ సెవెంటీ ఫైవ్ వోల్ట్ సోర్స్ ఈజ్ యాక్టివ్ టెన్ వోల్ట్ సోర్స్ ఈజ్ డిఆక్టివ్ నో ఇట్ ఈస్ సూపర్ పొజిషన్ తీరం ద్వారా ఎలా క్యాలకులేట్ చేస్తారు వెన్ ఫైవ్ వోల్ట్ సోర్స్ యాక్టివ్ అనదర్ సోర్స్ ఈజ్ డిఆక్టివేటెడ్ and similarly 10 volt source is active and the other source is deactivated the two currents theoretically we calculated the currents are 3.46 milliamps similarly 21 totally total current we obtained i1 i2 i1 is 3.46 i2 is 18.46 06 now if you have total 21.52 milliamps is the resultant current in 270 ohms resistance already we calculated we conducted experiment on to 21.5 of